Now we're ready to collect our character and animation to send to 3D Exchange, where we'll prep it for Unity. To do so, we'll go ahead and we'll turn off our Edit Motion Layer panel, and I'll also uh, bring our timeline up a bit here so that we can work with it. Next, with our timeline set up, I want to go back to my Modify panel, and I'll do that on the right-hand side with the first tab. And from here, I want to scroll down and then find Edit and 3D Exchange. This is going to send my character model for the castaway directly over to 3D Exchange, where we will then send our motion to. 3D Exchange is the sister program to iClone that allows you to import and export 3D models to use in iClone or outside of iClone in other 3D applications or game engines. So now our character is imported into 3D Exchange. And you can see that we have the hierarchy here for all the characters, uh, different nodes, as well as uh, another modify panel to continue to work with the character if we like. The idea here is that we want to take the character, have the model here so that we have the geometry. The next step is we'll go back to iClone and we'll send our animation as well as our facial lip sync over to our character to prep it for the game engine. With our character geometry now over inside 3D Exchange, it's time to collect our animation, including our lip sync and our facial puppeteering, and send that over there. So what I'll do is I'll move my playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. And then you can also use the hotkey uh, plus and minus to zoom in or out of the timeline. So I'm just going to zoom out here so that um, I can basically see everything on the screen that we've done. Here we have our motion, we have all of our different motion layer keyframes that we added very easily, as well as all of our facial animation that we've done. So we want to take all of this data now and we want to send it to 3D Exchange to animate our character. So I'm going to use this collect clip track that we have, and it does exactly that. It collects all of our animation just by clicking and dragging here like so, and then we can go ahead and go to the very front like that, um, as well as extend it out to the edge there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more here so I can see everything, make sure I've got it all. I want to get everything in there just like this. And then once we've isolated the area that we want to export, it's as simple as right-clicking and then preparing our file to go. Now from this menu, you have a few options. You can either add the motion that we've created to the library, or you can send it over to 3D Exchange. So in most cases, you would probably do both because you'd want to keep this motion for later use, maybe even on a different character. And for this purpose, of course, we'll be sending it to 3D Exchange because that's the path that we need in order to get it to Unity. And there's two different types of motion. There's motion and there's also motion plus. The difference here is motion is just body motion. Motion plus will give us the lip sync, the facial puppeteering, as well as all of our body motion. So it is motion plus everything. So we'll select that. 